you know, she banned from all Walmarts. And that's just, bruh, get out the desperate shit, my nigga. Like, get out of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's so desperate. They they are so desperate, um, Joel and Lauren. And it's, and it's obvious why they are desperate. You know, Joel has always wanted to live this certain life. You know, he used to talk about it all the time, you know. And he got to that point. He was making $40,000 a month, bruh. $40,000 a month. So he started buying all these cars and, you know what I'm saying, um, doing all this extra shit. Then he started bragging. And they were like, on his Snapchat one day, somebody was like, how you doing today? Or Lauren was like, hey, baby, how you doing today? He was like, I'm having a money day. Like, excuse me? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, where are you? You know, you're not here. Hey, Joe Eddie. Yeah. Let me talk my shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I was fucking with this virgin ass bitch. Wait, let me talk my shit. Let me tell you about this. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nikki G, the host. I need y'all to go subscribe to my people, Really Rare TV. They currently have 1,300 subscribers, man. Y'all already know what I'm on. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it to 2,000 by the end of that day. You get what I'm saying? Ain't gonna hurt nothing and nobody. Uh, <clears throat> she makes a lot of videos about smoking that gas. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it out there. Um, you don't need a driver's license, driving versus traveling. Uh, Sounds like she does some educational videos. Um... She's from Memphis, and she talks about weed a lot. <laughs> so if you a stoner, you can definitely get on that. She does pranks as well, mukbangs and stuff like that. And um, she seemed real cool, you know what I'm saying? Rare breed, you know? Really rare TV. Y'all go ahead and subscribe, man. Like I say, it won't hurt you and nobody else. You get what I'm saying? Go support my people. Enjoy this video. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with uh, another video. So, I'm going to get into this little bit of drama with, um, hell, Lauren versus Walmart. So, you know, I used to watch Joel for a long time, actually, when he was around Chris and them, you know what I'm saying? His hustle was, it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? He was, he was on one, you know? And um, then he ended up getting with Lauren and, and shit just kind of got out of whack. But now they just really out of whack. You know what I'm saying? So Lauren decides, well, they both decide that they're going to go into Walmart and act as if they're firing people. You know what I'm saying? And why they have a separation with reality, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy the way money can change people. Not only just money changing people this designer shit you know what i'm saying if these people stop buying designer and all these damn cars trying to live this life that you really ain't even ready for yet you know what i'm saying you have to be at certain numbers you got to have cert a certain amount of money and your shit together <clears throat> so they trying to keep up with, with 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 whatever's going on and they they stepping outside of themselves you know what i'm saying so to go in walmart and to act as if you're firing people I would know that I wouldn't want to do, especially to younger, I mean, older people, you know what I'm saying? Like younger people, somebody don't care about their job is obvious. You know, they on their phone or they just doing something that they ain't supposed to be doing. Hey, bro, if you, you, if you don't stop doing that, you're going to get fired, whatever. That might be funny, but to do it to older people or people that obviously need their job, people need their job, period. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't feel like that that was a game that should have been played or a prank that should have been made. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be honest, I think they would be fine if they stopped doing all this bullshit. But just a couple months ago, they was complaining about how Joel was like, you know, he thought he he was going to have to get a job. And, you know what I'm saying? He got a lot of uh, bills to pay. You know what I'm saying? He got to take care of these kids and shit. I get it. But now y'all just desperate. And y'all desperate because y'all want to keep up with that bullshit y'all got going on. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people... 
feel like, you know, I'm changing my content. And some people, they not rocking with what I'm doing, you know? But a lot of y'all are, which means we have to step over. You know what I'm saying? Not step over. We're going to keep going straight. The ones who ain't fucking with us, they can go. You know what I'm saying? You can go, you know? But I'm not going to let this control me, you know, and take over my character and take away the person I was before I had a couple dollars. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. But everybody ain't like me, you know? Anyway, I was really, really supporting them till they started all this bullshit. So Lauren is banned from all Walmarts. I don't know who, well, they said Lauren or whoever was affiliated with the video. Like, how you get banned out of Walmart? Where the I mean, of course, you can go to Target, right? I get that. <laughs> but you got banned out of Walmart for life? Now, let me tell y'all something. I used to work at Walmart. So I can't ever work for another Walmart a day in my life, so hell. <laughs> but that's just because of how I got fired and all that. Um, but you banned from all Walmarts in the world. Can you imagine... If she trying to sneak in Walmart real quick and they catch her ass? Bruh, absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I think that that was a, a, a lame thing to do. You know, and um, I feel like it was very insensitive. And I, it's cool that they got kicked out of Walmart. But at this point, all the message that I want to send, stop trying to, to, to like... All this buying and this Gucci and shit, all this bullshit, and these these designers don't give a fuck about you, bro. They don't care about you at all. They don't care about none of us. You know what I'm saying? Really don't want to see us in their clothes. You know? But now it's getting to the point where people are making more money. <clears throat> the world is evolving. So naturally, people are going to spend on what they want to spend on, right? Or they're trying to keep up with others. I don't want to keep up with others. You know what I'm saying? I want to trend set. I'm going to trend set. I trend set. You get what I'm saying? I trend set. So following what everybody else go got going on, I don't get it. You know? And maybe that's why God don't have me where I'm thinking I need to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking I need to be at a meal. And I'm thinking I need to, you know what I'm saying, have all this shit. Maybe he like, yeah, just, just keep going the route you're going. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come. You know, it's going to come. But if I had to trade what I had going on for this, <laughs> I'm going to keep mine, baby. But let me look at this real quick because, the I mean, the news has gotten uh, a hold of it. Like, you were on the news. <laughs> look at it. Cameras were rolling as a woman carrying a clipboard walked around a Walmart in Richmond. Oh, I'm not going to your badge and your jacket from you. You're fired. The employees looked shocked and upset. It wasn't until the prankster filled them in on the joke. It's a camera. I'm pranking you. But the prank went too far for employee Maria Leones. I felt so powerless. Leones has worked at the Walmart for nearly six years. She thought she lost her job when she was pranked a couple weeks ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't cry. Leones is still crying. It's okay. The reason, her husband, Eduardo. It was in the front for some people. A few months ago, Eduardo had triple bypass surgery. He's at home recovering. This means Leonis is the only one making money, and her husband relies on her health insurance. I don't think it's good to play on someone else's emotion. Walmart doesn't think so either. The company sent us a statement saying, in part, the prank is offensive and the people responsible are no longer welcome in our stores. We've taken actions on behalf of our associates including asking YouTube to remove cameras were and, and, as a woman and carrying YouTube a YouTube wasn't with the shits. YouTube said, I'm not taking it down. I'm, I'm going to play it. But YouTube like, I'm not taking it down because did, did you die, nigga? <laughs> YouTube is so cruel. They like, did you die? Did she die? No, I'm not taking it down. Like, this the thing. I, I could see playing it on younger people. Like I said, I right. And then I only would have did it to a couple people. You know what I'm saying? Like, he look like he buying Sam Jean. Let me fuck with him, you know? But an older lady. <laughs> like, obviously, when you see older, to, to me, when you see older people, you know, at these certain jobs, they've been working there for 20, 25 years. That's what keep them going, you know? And if you don't have her at that Walmart, that's going to be a problem. You get what I'm saying? You go to Walmart looking for Miss uh, Shirley, who been there. 
you know what I'm saying, 15 plus years. You know, I got to see Michelle today. And Lord, you find out something happened to her, you're going to be real upset. But that's people that's, that's here with reality, right? So the people that's not want to play on older people and, and tell her that she lost her job. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like that was whack as fuck. And, um, you know, she banned from all Walmarts. And that's just, bruh, get out the desperate shit, my nigga. Like, get out of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's so desperate. They they are so desperate, um, Joel and Lauren. And it's, and it's obvious why they are desperate. You know, Joel has always wanted to live this certain life. You know, he used to talk about it all the time, you know, and he got to that point. He was making $40,000 a month, bruh. $40,000 a month. So he started buying all these cars and, you know what I'm saying, um, doing all this extra shit. Then he started bragging. And he was like, on his Snapchat one day, somebody was like, how you doing today? Or well, Lauren was like, hey, baby, how you doing today? He was like, I'm having a money day. Like, excuse me? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, where are you? You know, you're not here because that was so, like, people misconstrue YouTuber and rapper, right? If you a YouTuber turn rapper, that's different. You can act different. You can do all this money shit. And I mean, just the baby and stunner, if y'all know who they are. I mean, you see money every time they show themselves, but they are rappers. Rappers have a certain um, image to uphold. And sometimes that's being cocky and showing your money and showing what you got, blah, blah, blah. That's what rappers do. That's just what they do. YouTubers is not the same. YouTube following, you have a following that is very personal, okay? Dear here, okay? And you become family and you have to... You know, you have to finesse a certain way. You got to move a certain way, you know, to respect the people who fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Not shit on them and not show your ass every chance you get because you got a couple of dollars. No. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to talk about this because this was so lame to me. When I seen that, I was like, oh, my God. I see all the drama that goes on. And a lot of people wondering why. I'm not fooling with drama anymore because it's fucking stupid. <laughs> like, you, you say I'm changing on YouTube. No, I'm a reactor. And I react to other YouTubers, right? And if I'm not reacting to certain shit, that means something something went wrong over that. You know what I'm saying? The shit just ain't the same no more. But that doesn't, I'm not about to be boring. You know what I'm saying? But <sighs> YouTube ain't the same. So I adapt. If you ain't gonna fuck with it, you know, you just ain't. You know what I'm saying? But I got a, I got a strong gang. I got a strong gang. I fuck with y'all. Okay? I love y'all, bro. So, I just wanted to say that, man. You know what I'm saying? Talk to y'all about that real quick. Child, she banned. You can't go back into Walmart, bro. Walmart. I mean, she better target it up. And they better stop buying all this damn Gucci for you not be able to afford Target because they ain't cheap. You know what I'm saying? But all right, y'all, for more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. We on to the next video. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G, the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world. And that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo. I cut the logo. I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three. Pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. 
go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.